All right, what is up guys? It's Ivan from BurningVest.com and today I'm going to share with you something that I did for my workshop. Uh, as you all know, winter is coming, it's getting colder, and eating your workshop or garage is uh, not easy in the winter, especially where I live uh, in Canada, it gets very cold. Um, now, what I have right now installed is two 5,000 watts heater, overhead heaters, and they do the job properly. Uh, the only problem with that is that at 5,000 watt, uh, you can't really find a programmable thermostat for them. Uh, something that would enable you to set schedules so you're not wasting electricity when you're not in the shop, and you can't really access it from the internet to control it and stuff like that. Uh, so the only thing I was able to get is those old mechanical ones, and those will work with 5,000 watts, but uh, they're very inaccurate, and they're not programmable, of course and you can't control them remotely at all. So I, I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if I could use a Nest thermostat? Uh, the Nest thermostats you can control over the internet, you can set schedules, you get reports. I mean, they're great thermostats. Uh, the problem with that is, is that my system that I use is 240 volts, uh, and the Nest thermostat is made to be used with central heating systems, which use 24 volts. Now, to bridge the gap, I actually made a box uh, with a bunch of components inside that enables me to use a Nest thermostat to actually control my two 5,000 watts heater. So to control up to 10,000 watts. And you could scale that up to uh, your needs. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what's in the box itself, all the components and how they work together. And then we'll be right back. Now, a big disclaimer. This is very dangerous. This is 240 volts. Uh, 240 volts can kill you. And if it doesn't kill you, it's gonna hurt you a lot. Uh, so if you're not comfortable around electricity, if you have a fear of it, or uh, you're not really sure, uh, forget this project, don't do it, please. And, uh, but if you want information and see how it works, then it's fine. But if you're gonna try to do this, please be very careful when you're dealing with high voltage. So with that said, let's continue. All right, so here's a picture of what's inside the box itself. Uh, so at the bottom here, I have 120 volt. Uh, that will provide power to this transformer here. This one will power the Nest thermostat. And also this bigger one at the top here, which will power the contactors right here, these two contactors. I wanted a bigger one uh, separate from the one from the Nest uh, because I want these guys to actually shut properly to provide current. So next at the top, we have a relay that is controlled by the Nest thermostat. So when the temperature um, gets too low, the Nest thermostat will activate this relay, which will activate each one of these contactors to close these circuits right here. So from the bottom here, you can see this is the power coming in uh, from the panel. It gets cut here and continues here to the uh, actual heaters like so. Uh, the ground is not cut. I don't need to cut that. So basically when this relay activates, it closes the circuit and the power can continue to the garage heaters. So there you go guys, that's the way it works. And I'm gonna tell you, I've been using this system for two months and it's amazing. I mean, I'm in the house. I know I'm gonna go in the workshop, uh, let's say in a half an hour, I can just log in set the temperature and when I get into the workshop, it's warm. And when I leave, if I forget to turn it down, I could just do it right away from a computer or from my Apple Watch or an iPhone or an Android phone, doesn't really matter. You have direct access and control of that thing. Uh, so if you like this project, go to my website. I have a web page. You'll see all the connections. I have a list of all the parts that I used. Uh, they're Amazon links, so if you want to get the same parts to make sure that it works, you can get that. And I invite you guys to check out that page if you want to recreate that thing. So that'll do it for today, guys. Hopefully you found this project interesting. Uh, if you like my videos, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, join me uh, very soon. I'm going to have a new project coming up, and I hope to see you guys there. So as always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.